Good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Our Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you from Moscow, Idaho. Uh, just a quick update. I finally finished my David Pearson 72 Mercury. Um, not much issue with it. Typical MPC chassis that uh, had to deal with. And basically... Um, <coughs> Kind of like the Salvino chassis that joins together here. The MPC chassis isn't long enough when they made this. So I always add a piece of styrene to the back half of the MPC one um, to give it a little length uh, to be able to do that. And join them together. Once I glue them together, then I um, put a piece of sheet styrene on top of it where it, uh, where it uh, comes together. So, uh, just kind of a hard time getting getting things done. Um, it just uh, seems to be one thing after another. So I'm glad to get this one in. Uh, this would be a good companion piece with uh, my AJ Foyt. Um, 72 Mercury, which should be right up there, over there, right here, here somewhere. Anyway, um, but I did use my resin cast nose on this one. And honestly, I mean, it, it looks nice, but I don't think it looks like a ton better than... Uh, than the box stock one the box one i always stripped down in the past i've stripped it down and <coughs> excuse me and and uh replated it so but anyway that's my 72 Mer mercury from david pearson and i'll show you what's kind of going on on the bench um this is the one I've actually got coming up next. Uh, the, the 74 charger, actually a 73 charger that Ray Elder ran in the 74 Winston Western uh, 500 at Riverside. So you can see I changed the gas cap over to this side, blocked it off on this side. Um, did my normal ch chassis jazz up, uh, you know, these Salvinos copied the old MPC chassis. Uh, not much originality there, so I always jazz it up and, you know, just to give it some uh, uh, visual interest, I, I guess I should say. So that's the next one up on the... Uh, on the table and I had to have some custom uh, numbers made for this one they're gold chrome uh, I'm not gonna show this is kind of a surprise uh, so I'm not gonna show it until I'm ready to actually reveal the car um, this is also one I pretty much got all the body work done on it now uh, and this one is going to be AJ Foyt's uh, number 50 gold pure later car. Uh, I've been wanting to do that a while. Uh, and also, this is my 73 uh, resin 73 conversion. It converts the AMT or MPC, both of them, uh, from a 74 to a 73 Chevelle. I was lucky enough to find the parts online uh, in an auction on eBay. I didn't, honestly, I didn't even know what they were for at the time. 
Um, but I always look for little resin parts and stuff like that. Let me move this up here. Uh, there we go. And then this is one um, having a little issue with uh, some contamination. So, uh, but anyway, I'm I'm uh, wanted to base coat it all white anyway. Um, and this is going to be Janet Guthrie's, uh, number 68, um, Kelly Girl Laguna. And what I did is I mixed, uh, my own green, um, this is, uh, Model Master's Bright Green, and then I used Metallic Gray and Black Chrome in it to get that kind of dark gray, uh, jade look to it. And the other one I've got on my bench right now, yeah, as if those weren't enough. Um, I've got this 1996, uh, whoops, I hit the camera. 1996 Michael Waltrip. Uh, this is his Winston Winter car. Uh, and it is painted with MCW finishes poppy red. Uh, I had the same dark gray primer on there. And it did not come through. Uh, the poppy red just didn't come out enough. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to just sand this down with 3000 real quick. And then I'm going to hit it again with competition orange. Um, you can see they look pretty darn similar. The competition orange just has a little brighter orange in it. Hopefully that will lighten up this color a little bit. And that's it. Uh, just a quick update. Uh, I wanted to let you know what was going on. Uh, the charger will be done first. And then these other three will just kind of fall in line as I can get them going. Um, and that's it. You guys have a great June. Um, that's about it for me. God bless. Um, and that's it. Thanks, guys.